thank you to the members of the press and the public who come here for the public launch of Green Madison. My name is Raj Shukla. I'm a member of the implementation team. I'm also the chair of the City Sustainable Madison Committee. And I'm very proud to see that the mayor, the council president, the council president pro tem are all here to talk about the importance of energy efficiency for the city's welfare, for its environmental welfare, for its commitment to community equity, uh, and for our economic well-being. Uh, Green Madison is our entry into the Georgetown University Energy Prize. And over the next two years, 50 cities, and you can see them all on the map over here, are going to compete for $5 million awarded to the city that reduces energy the most over that two-year period. And we're going to do it while we address some of Madison's most pressing problems. It's economic problem, problems, it's problems around community equity, and of course our environmental challenges with climate change here now. Uh, we've already started doing work on this project. Uh, partners on this implementation team have identified over a million dollars in savings that the city can realize just with a few changes in our operations. And we want to bring what we've learned about the city out to the rest of the community so that homeowners and renters and landlords and businesses can all learn what they can do and start making the little changes that are going to save money and help the environment in the years to come. Uh, We'll start with a, cool, a citywide game over the court, or that begins in September, September 28th, I believe, is the start date for that. And over 60 days, teams of five, neighbors, colleagues, friends, will compete to complete the most cool choices over 60 days. Uh, they'll have the chance to win prizes from local businesses and restaurants, and they'll also gain access to resources that other members of this implementation team can bring to bear. Uh, We'll do energy house parties across the city so that people can learn about the deep efficiency actions that they can take to really save energy and save money. Um, we'll also uh, direct financing to those families that have trouble affording some of the things that you can do to, to reduce energy, like insulating your home and things like that. Our partners at Project Home and Elevate Energy will uh, we'll talk about that in more detail later. We have stations that are set up around the room uh, where you can experience cool choices, you can experience some of the offerings that Project Home has, and you can talk about setting up a house party later this fall with Elevate Energy. Without further ado, I'd just like to pass it to Mayor Paul Soglin to talk more about what this can do for our city. Thank you. Uh, unlike some governments, we recognize the challenges global warming and what is happening uh, around the world in terms of governments, national governments, state governments, local governments, undertaking the challenge of dealing with this very significant and very tragic change in the environment that's occurring very rapidly during our lifetime. While we don't have the support and encouragement of leaders in state government that we should. We do have here an opportunity to join with enlightened communities throughout the United States in this competition. And it is going to be stiff. Corvallis of Oregon, uh, Cambridge and Berkeley, Chattanooga and Knoxville are all communities that are determined not only to win the prize, demonstrate that people acting locally can make a significant difference in taking on the challenges of global warming, energy efficiency, and creating truly sustainable communities. <clears throat> this competition is unlike any other that we've ever had. This competition is not going to be won with the brilliance of some grant writer some engineer. The recognition is going to go to the community with the greatest involvement. I'm optimistic about our ability to meet this challenge. So many endeavors of civic participation, whether it's responding to Census Bureau questions, whether it's responding to the individual's participation in our home recycling program, Madison has always been a leader. That's what it's going to take as 
we begin this adventure in September is going to take dissipation of some 50 or 60,000 households in, in, in the city of Madison to participate, to learn, and to perhaps have fun setting standards which will be a model, which will be a model for not just us but for the nation, what we can do to make cool choices and to significantly reverse the challenges of global warming. The city has identified a combination of energy conservation measures that can save up to $1 million annually and reduce the city's own energy consumption by 15%. Residents can do the same, whether it's something as simple as checking for leaks in water lines or being conscientious about leaving appliances on. But there's more to it than that. Because to win, you do need everyone's involvement. Cool choices are going to be a challenge. Again, as we look at this map of the United States, there's 49 other communities that have the same goal and the same sense of purpose that we have. I'd like to just thank you all for being here, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to President Denise Lamar. is, um, as the mayor pointed out, it's fun, it's a game, and it's something that everyone can be involved in. Every resident of the city can be involved in this game, every business can be involved in this game. We rack up points and we win. And that's really key to this because the more people that are involved, as the mayor said, the more chances we have to win. Um, my background and my graduate work is in sustainability, so this is really exciting for me. Um, I. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. And we rack up points, but we also learn. And we learn about our choices. And we learn about making maybe other choices. And some of them are really, really easy to make. And I think that's what's important. People think that in order to, to do something, you have to put solar on your house, which is a great thing to do. But there's so many other things that we can do um, to, to be uh, effective and to make a difference in climate change. So. Um, I, I guess what I want to say is, this is for everyone in the city. It is, um, uh, it, there's special efforts and special programming for <coughs> income-based people um, for the, that they can too um, join and not have to be inhibited to do so. There's a program through Project Homes that um, multi-dwellings, multi-family dwellings can be involved. It just takes five people to make a team, so that's easy. Um, I also want to tell you before I forget that everyone should go to greenmadison.org to find out more about this and I'm, hopefully I'll say that again before I'm done here. It's greenmadison.org to find out how to get involved. As Amaraj um, said, it's September 28th is the start, but there's so much to learn before then, so go and check it out. And I want to say, um, as a student of sustainability, it's really important with climate change that we become more resilient. And resiliency is flexibility and knowledge. And so this game of cool choices will bring that to us and the education behind that. This is a win-win-win. So the city saves money, residents save money, businesses save money, and we get to use less energy at the same time we're preparing ourselves for alternative energy, cleaner choices, and um, we get to learn and um, bring this to a wider audience. And there's 49 other cities that we're in competition with, but Madison's pretty great. And I believe that um, the citizens of Madison, the residents of Madison can get behind us. And so I'm really excited um, to, to have my part in this, and it's something my family's been involved in for a long time. So to bring this to our own neighborhood and, um, and certainly to council. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, Maurice Cheeks, Council President Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Martin. 
I want to set the bar for what a sustainable and collaborative community looks like in Madison. And I really believe that Cool Choices is, is going to be a part of how we're going to execute on that goal. There's plenty of research that shows that uh, educational and training games, in fact, do change and impact behaviors. And we've already seen significant impacts uh, on, on city spending and on sustainable practices within the city. So I've been um, playing this game for maybe two weeks now. The city's been playing the game. We've got over 350 people participating. And as of a few moments ago, when I checked on my phone as I was sitting here and making sure that no one was beating my team, um, we've, we've saved over $60,000 so far in, in energy savings. Um, so this is, um, yeah, this Green Madison initiative is really unlike anything else that's happening across the country. You know, the, the mayor and, and Alder DeMar pointed out that um, we've got plenty of other, uh, plenty of competition of other medium-sized cities. And I think it's really interesting that this program is focused on medium-sized cities. Uh, for the first time in, in our history as humanity, we have the majority of humans living in cities. And, and the majority of those living in cities are in fact living in medium-sized cities. We have a responsibility as a medium-sized city, as one of the best places to live, um, to set the bar, to lead by example to the rest of the world. And uh, I really believe Cool Choices and Green Madison is, is a significant part of how we're going to execute on that. So I thank you guys for being here today. I, I thank you all for your support and your leadership. And I'm happy to be a part of this program that uh, I think Madison is going to uh, really going to have the opportunity to win and, and will really benefit from that $5 million. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That I'd just like to draw all of your attention to a variety of different stations behind you that'll talk about all the different pieces of programming for Green Madison. You'll be able to experience the Cool Choices game, absolutely, but you'll also be able to start setting up an energy house party with Jen Rubin from, Ener from Elevate Energy. You can talk to folks from Project Home who've come here with some pretty neat gadgets to explore your energy use at home. Um, so please, Take a look at some of our offerings. Go to greenmadison.org, learn more about the program, sign up to participate, and thank you for being here. So we have a table in the back with the Cool Choices game and a, an open table where we'll have Jen Rubin from Elevate. You can talk to about the house parties and uh, Gene Hoffman from the city can talk to you about this facility and what the city has done to increase energy efficiency. And then if you go down the hall, the folks from Project Home have a blower door set up and some infrared cameras that you can check out as well. I encourage you all to visit all of those stations. Are there any questions for any of our speakers? Seeing none, I encourage you to, to go check out the stations. Thanks very much.